So when I think about Parkinson's, the best analogy I have been able to come up with is this idea of a river. Um, Parkinson's disease and aging in particular, we'll get there in a minute, but Parkinson's disease starts like a river with a gentle stream pulling you down. Just very gentle. Sometimes not very bothersome, not that big a deal, but noticeable. And what will happen, this is the, the events, the gatherings, the Parkinson's walks. I mean, we can even have a little fun as we're going downstream, right? You find community, we come together, we learn some things about ourselves. It's not all bad. There is a point where things start to pick up, have to be a little more focused. We have to be a little more thoughtful. We have to be a little more serious because things are starting to get more serious. And there comes a point where it becomes really hard to manage. And then there is a point where it's too late. So what I'm trying to tell all of you today and your loved ones who do not have a diagnosis of Parkinson's and your kids who do not have a diagnosis of Parkinson's is if you are not currently in the current, if you maybe feel the littlest, teeniest tug that you might be in this river, Swim, swim, swim upstream as far as you can, right? Because it is way easier to prevent this stuff than it is to reverse this stuff. So when I'm talking about risk, I'm talking about three categories. This is how I'm thinking about it in my head and for you today. Risk of diagnosis. We kind of talked about that last time risk of progression and risk of in particular of particular outcomes. And the three that I'm focusing on today are the three that um, have the most devastating consequences, 